to Wolves 3, Burton Albion 1 in probably the coldest match of the season. I think I underprepared today, middle of March. You wouldn't expect it to be this cold, but it was freezing and horrible. But we were warmed by some of the football that we were displayed today. Fantastic performance yet again by Wolves. And really, I am starting to enjoy and just appreciate some of these players because Ruben Neves is a cut above anything else we've seen or certainly I've seen in my lifetime at the Wolves. His creativity in midfield, his passing ability is just superb. Costa is getting now, he's back to his best, I think. On his day, he's probably the best attacking player in the Championship. And Benicophobia as well has had his critics, myself included, over the last couple of weeks since he came back. But since he started last uh, Tuesday night against Reading, he scored four goals in three games now, so you can't argue with that. And hopefully he kicks on now for the rest of the season. And then perhaps, although I said a couple of weeks ago that I don't think we'd sign him in the summer, perhaps that is a deal that we could see happen uh, should his, con his good form continue. So in contrast to a week ago when we were disappointed with the defeat against Aston Villa, we've really picked ourselves up this week with two poor teams coming to Molyneux. But we had to... Had to get the th six points and we did and now we move on after the international break to another tough game away at Middlesbrough. But um, today's game was a non-contest, uh, probably the most one-sided game I've seen at Molyneux this season. And their goal was a complete freak of a goal really. I think some people have been blaming John Ruddy for it but it was very little he really could have done. Uh, the corner that was failed to we failed to clear the corner and then the shot took a deflection and then went through Ruddy's legs. Perhaps he could have done better, but he had so little time to react to that that he couldn't really do too much about it. But we put ourselves in a position in the game where we were comfortable in possession. We had something like 71% possession by the end of the game, which is amazing. And we just controlled the, the game. There was never any worry at 2-1 at half-time because Wolves just came out and dominated yet again. And they didn't give Burton a sniff. Burton didn't offer anything. A lot like Reading, they seem to have come to try and keep the score down. But you've got to give credit to Burton for the the way that they've played over the last two years in the Championship. They've, you know, it's well above the sort of level that they should be at the size of their football club. But Nigel Clough and the and the players and the the fans who've got behind them, uh, you've got to give credit to them. Uh, fantastic story really for, for football and and gives a lot of hope to a lot of lower league clubs as well. So yeah, we'll sit on 82 points now, currently 13 points clear of Aston Villa who are playing at the moment against Bolton. Hopefully that result goes in our favour. Cardiff as well have got a tough game against Derby tomorrow so it could be that we go into the international break six points clear of second or 13 points clear of third or it could be that it's three and ten. Either way, we still have our own destiny in our own hands. And we move on now to the running. Eight games left, not many at all. And some really winnable fixtures at home as well, which we must get all the points from. Very, very happy. 82 points is the average points score for second place as well over the last 10 years or so in the Championship. We can't say that we're there yet. We want to make sure that we win this division and win it in style. So we'll kick on after the international break and see the job through. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.